Well, 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 seeing all this makes me really homesick. I wish I could fly back to Bangkok immediately. <clears throat> anyway, let's, uh, I'm sure that our viewers are now will be eager to know about the safety aspect of uh, the hotel and as it is now the primary concern for everyone. So, um, Robert, how, um, how ready are you to welcome the guests to, to safe and clean environment? And what are the measures taken by the hotel? I yes, think, I think, I mean, we've been getting ready for a long time, of course, uh, for the domestic market, we are open. Uh, most of our hotels are operating as normal. Uh, we were actually the second hotel, the Centaur Grand at Central World, to be certified by the uh, SHA, by the TAT, actually, which is a, uh, a safety and health administration audit, um, which we passed, actually, uh, with all the points. And Centaur is also has their own, uh, we call it a Triple C Centaur Complete Care Program, um, which is basically all about hygiene, safety, uh, and health. So. Um, we have the most strictest measures actually in the hotel in terms of sanitization uh, from entering the hotel, taking temperature controls, uh, going through a sanitization uh, tunnel, taking all aspects of hygiene uh, um, into consideration uh, and hand cleaning programs, of course, and, and all in collaboration with uh, Ecolab, which is the world's leading uh, chemical company and SGS, of course, to certify this as well. Oh, that sounds good. I think that will make people feel really safe once they come into the, your hotel. Now tell me, in the common areas like the lobby, coffee shop, the bar and other outlets, how do you ensure that the guests, uh, that, 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 that the guests are safe? And are there any set guidelines for the guests to follow? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, I think the country as well. So there is an uh, obligation to wear a mask at all times. Uh, in public in Thailand, of course, within the hotel as well. So there is a mandatory uh, uh, mask wearing. Uh, unless you're in the interest in, in, in the restaurant dining, you can remove the mask. But there's even social distancing uh, in the restaurants. Uh, there is a lot of uh, very intensive cleaning programs. So of course, all the high touch point areas are cleaned every 30 minutes. Uh, between um, uh, guests at the restaurant, of course, the entire table, everything is completely sanitized. Uh, during the nighttime, even for the banquet halls, we do an aerosol uh, sanitization treatment using a non-toxic uh, electrolyte uh, uh, water dispersal system. So we really, it's all about cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. We ensure the staff, of course, all wear uh, gloves at the front office, back of the house, they wear face shields, they wear masks, gloves, and when we go, we, we go everything by our ISO and HACCP uh, guidelines. Okay, that sounds good. It's, it's very reassuring. Now tell me, do you still have those uh, lavish buffets uh, that, you know, that spread you used to have? I remember, wow, that was really great. I, is it still there or, you, I mean, is there another form of, you replaced it with some other kind of service? Um, we've uh, opened all of our restaurants now. The lavish uh, buffets we had in the past, of course, we, there, there's, uh, with the new uh, regulations, we've set up a lot of uh, basically shields, so-called sneeze guards between the buffet and the customer. Uh, for the moment, all our chefs are behind uh, physically serving the dishes, so the food is there, it can be seen, the guests wear the mask, staff wear the masks and face shields, but we actually serve the food, so the utensils are no longer touched by the customers, and basically uh, there is a shield between the customer and the food itself. So that means that uh, the guests just sit on the table and they're, they're served from the buffet, is it? Uh, that is one option when on the busier buffets, the guests can actually go to the buffet and then the chefs actually portion that you say you would like to have some uh, fried rice or biryani or something and we actually serve it on the plate. So the customer can still hold the plate and we actually serve it, but the utensils are not touched by anyone, so. Okay, okay. That's good. So is there any limit of a number of guests that you can accept in a restaurant? Previously, of course, I know that you know, restaurants are really huge, but 
you have probably cut down the number of guests that you can take in each time, right? Uh, we have done that. There is, of course, as per government regulation, there is the distance between uh, between the tables we have to keep in. So we did have to basically spread out the table slightly uh, to keep with that in our banqueting facilities, of course, before we could fit, uh, for instance, in, in our conventional 4,000 people for a sit down dinner. And now, OK, it is basically one fourth is a thousand because of our sheer size. We can still take large events. But of course, we need to leave uh, uh, four square meters per person, and uh, that's where we maximum for a sit down would be thousand. For for another meeting, we're about thousand two hundred. In the past, we went four and a half to five thousand. Okay, this this is your 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 banquet halls and all that you were talking about, right? Correct. Now, what about what about the breakfast? Uh, do you encourage the guests to have it in the rooms or? Is it? We have opened uh, the restaurant actually now uh, for breakfast. Now that we're getting busier, even now during these long weekends, uh, we are we are quite busy with the, with the domestic market. So we've taken all the precautions, of course, like I said, with all the uh, uh, plastic sneeze guards on the buffet, and then basically we are serving the buffet uh, to the customers. So there's no direct contact between any utensils. But uh, we, we have gone back to the buffet service because the volume is getting getting larger, but the guests have to wear the masks. And basically, if there is any uh, area where the guests can, can take something themselves, then we provide gloves for the guests as well, which are disposed before they're leaving or touching anything else. So we have very clear protocols within the restaurants to ensure that uh, maximum safety is kept at all times. And are you serving breakfast in the rooms? I mean, the, the room service is on, right? People can order the room food. Service. Right? Yes, room service is on, but we no longer enter the room. So the trolley will be uh, basically taken up to the front of the uh, up to the front door. We knock on the door, ring the bell, and then the customer actually takes the trolley in themselves. So we do not enter the room after it's been completely sanitized because we, we do a complete sanitization of every guest room. And then we close the door and seal the door. So basically, when you go into the guest room, it, you, you can be rest assured it's been completely sanitized from every corner, from the air condition to every uh, hand shower, bathtub. Everything has been completely sanitized from yeah, top to toe, basically top to toe, all areas. OK, that, that really feels safe. Now, how about the places like gym, the swimming pool, sauna, steam? What are the chances? Because since the chances of spreading is high there, and how do you handle that? Uh, the sauna and steam rooms are still off limit. Uh, we do provide, uh, of course, our, our spa is open. We only do. We don't no longer do couple massages. There's only basically one person in the room. The therapists, of course, wear their face masks, face shields while uh, doing the different therapies. Uh, for the fitness center, we have to do the social distancing as well, and we have to control the maximum amount of people within the square meter. So now there is one and a half meters between, let's say, all the cardio machines, which used to be closer together. So we make sure we have all the distancing between uh, all our equipment. All guests entering any facility, any restaurant or the spa, the, the, the Thai government has launched a uh, uh, application too, where people basically scan the barcode to check in and check out. So there is tracking of who is where within the country, should some uh, uh, tracking be necessary at one point of time. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Now, uh, every between to every sanitized between. So if you are on the treadmill, we completely sanitize the entire from screen down to every part of the of the machine, we will sanitize it as well between people using it. Okay, so it's pretty safe to use your gym or sauna or your, your spa. At Senwari Spa is really great. Huh? They have fantastic massages and all. It's really nice. Um, now tell me about your lifts. Uh, there are many, as there are restrictions as to, do you have any restrictions as to how many people should go into a lift at one time, since uh, social distance has to be kept in mind? 
Yes, we have vis very visible uh, uh, markings uh, on the lift floors, basically, with boxes where the people can go in. So our lifts are very large. So the main hotel lifts, we can fit uh, six people at a time. And these are sanitized every 30 minutes as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds good. Um, now, coming to the luggage of the, of the check-in guests, is it, I, I know it's sanitized and before it goes to the room and uh, normally the luggage is kept with with the bell at the bell desk you know when the person is checking in so what about those tags Do, are you still using those physical tags to to put on the bags for the for the number you know the number room numbers and things like that yes we still do it but uh, we even have at the main entrance we have this sanitization tunnel which uh, has a very fine mist of electrolyte water. So not only that the staff, the guests go through the sanitization tunnel, the entire luggage trolley with all the luggage goes through it as well. So basically uh, everything from, from, the, from the exterior is completely sanitized. Okay, that sounds good and very safe. Now, coming back to the rooms, I was just thinking that what about the housekeeping staff? Uh, you know, once uh, when they come from makeover of the room and when the guest is staying for three to four days and, you know, the room, the room cleaning is done. So how, how safe is that? Because, you know, the guests may feel a little nervous about, okay, you know, somebody is coming into their room while they're staying there you know, during the day or whatever. How do you manage that? Um, we, we provide the service now uh, as per our Centaur Complete Care once a day. So we, we make up the room, we clean the entire room and then we sanitize it. After that, we don't enter the room uh, again. So when you enter the room, basically it's a complete sealed, sanitized room, uh, turn down service, we do not do it. If there's a request to do so, we of course provide the service and then we sanitize it all over again. So basically every time, the once a day when we do clean the room entirely, it is sanitized. The staff wearing masks, they're wearing uh, shields, they're wearing gloves. And then all the chemicals are basically diluted together with uh, SDS and Ecolab to a, uh, a level that we ensure absolute sanitization and, and, and the killing of all pathogens, bacteria, uh, germs which are in the room. Okay, that, that's good. Now, now uh, what about your staff since, uh, you know, they're going home and they're coming, uh, they're coming to the hotel from home and while traveling, they must be, you know, on public transport and things like that. So how do you make sure that, uh, that your staff is completely safe to handle, you know, people, things in the hotel? Actually, we're very lucky. There's no locally transmitted cases, I think, in over two months in, in Thailand. But even outside of the hotel, the government has, uh, has uh, put uh, strong restrictions on everything. So social distancing on public transportation, on buses, on the SkyTrain, everything basically is, is followed uh, through very strictly, very disciplined way. Uh, when they come, all the staff too, the temperature is being monitored. If anybody... Uh, reports to our human resources department that they have, for instance, a fever, uh, they are to stay home. And then we also contact the hospital that they go for a uh, checkup. Of course, over the months, we always had a few scares. Somebody has fever. We ensure it immediately. They go to the, uh, uh, to the hospital, they take a test, and then they go under, under self-quarantine for 14 days. Uh, we have not had a single case in the hotel, which uh, knock on wood, we're very uh, lucky with, but we take all precaution and even outside the government really takes all precautions. Even going to a, a convenience store, if you don't wear a mask, you cannot enter it. So they're very strict here. Oh, that sounds good. And in any case, people in Thailand are very, very disciplined. So when they're told to wear masks, they wear masks. When they're told to have social distance, they'll do it. So that that's that's one thing that's really that's made Thailand uh, almost uh, free from from Corona. Correct, and uh, I think also by the by the social etiquette of doing the the traditional why and greeting. I mean, okay, similar like in India, there's no hugging and kissing going on. So of course the I think out of a cultural point, I think the, the, the spread was much less because of that as well. Yes, that's true. That's true. Now, what, what will be the plan if you find any guests during the check-in or during stay develop some kind of symptoms, which is a matter of concern as a health risk? 
Well, there's this two ways to handle it. If they're already checked into the hotel, they're there. So we basically have, of course, a, a, a mobile ICU. We, we, we work together with one of the leading hospitals here. So a mobile ICU unit will be dispatched to the hotel. They will come and check. We have 24 hours doctors on call and even a, a nurse on the property. So we do take uh, uh, all precautions. If it is someone who is not residing in the hotel and for some reason has a temperature or any suspicion, we isolate them first. And then there's a government ministry of public health hotline, which we contact. And then we will go into uh, contact with them and, and follow the procedures as such. But we quarantine immediately and then take action either with, uh, if, it's, if it's an in-house residing guest with a mobile ICU of the hospital, who will then take over uh, uh, take over that that case, which luckily we haven't had so far. So there was always a few scares, but everything was always that the, the guests were free of of COVID nineteen. So, but we have all actions in place. We have all SOPs uh, in place uh, to take care of it. Great, great. In any case, your hotel is so centrally located. Um, you know, the hospital and everything is within, you know, walking distance. So I guess that can all be taken care of. And, Correct. And all the hospitals, not only the public hospital, all the private hospitals, they're all equipped with uh, to take care of patients should anybody have any, any, any serious uh, condition. Right, right. So it, it's so in a situation that in-house guests are found uh, to be affected, I guess, you know, within minutes that uh, they'll be taken care of, right? Absolutely, yes, immediately. So immediately the whole area will be sealed off. Uh, I mean, together with the Ministry of Public Health and the hospital, then we have a whole procedure of what would happen in, in that worst scenario, which luckily hasn't happened so far. Okay, great. Sounds good. Uh, now coming to the certification, I know you got this SHA certification and uh, which you mentioned before that you've got quite a few certifications and all that. So those are all in place. And I suppose that there is a constant review on the safety system of this. I know of SHA, uh, you know, because TAT is handling this. I know that they, they, you know, keep checking from time to time. And I suppose the other certifications as well. Absolutely, of course, yes. Uh, SHA is one, of course, from, from, from the TAT, from the government side. Uh, privately, we have taken SGS, which is, of course, the, the world leading company to do uh, any verification testing and certification. We just had our test uh, basically late last week, which we, we, we passed with flying colors. And these, these tests are very strict, too. They actually uh, take rooms, they, 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 they analyze everything, take lab tests, take prints, take everything. So we passed that very well. So basically all the training we did with the staff, with all the different companies uh, really uh, worked very well. So, so we passed it in the very high 90s, to say the least. So, so I guess our viewers will feel very safe when it comes to Setara Hotel. Now, one more question, last question is that uh, suppose uh, Somebody, I guess, has already uh, made a reservation at the hotel and they have uh, uh, made the payment as well. And when, they, when they're traveling, while they're traveling and at the airport, they are found to have temperature and, uh, and they're stopped at the airport and uh, the authorities, the airport authorities may take them to the hospital or whatever. And they may not be able to inform the hotel. It will be kind of uh, no show. So eventually, can they get the refund back? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think in a situation like this, it's a world pandemic. Our, our flexibility and our, our goodwill and the good heart, I think, uh, of all the Thai people, we do have to, of course, reimburse anything as such. Uh, we are in the hospitality business, and and, and of course, we, we safety is at the, at the most utmost importance. If the government or anybody at the airports. I mean, there's a reason to quarantine anybody. Of course, we will reimburse anything which has been paid, whether it's on an FIT basis or even on a group or an event. So in that way, we are, of course, very flexible and very forthcoming. Okay, sounds good. 
Uh, now that the situation in Thailand is under control and domestic travel has, has started, so how busy are you? Are you quite quite busy in in terms of occupancy? Actually, yes. I mean, the government uh, is doing a lot of support, a lot of programs uh, to stimulate the uh, the local domestic business. So this weekend we are completely fully booked. Uh, we'll be fully booked 100% here. I know already our sister hotel in, in Hua Hin and Pattaya, they're all full. So it's a long weekend. Um, we are completely full. The restaurant's doing extremely well too. So uh, there's a lot of activities here to stimulate the domestic business. And we're just waiting for all the airports to open, of course, to welcome our friends from around the world. I know, I know we all, I'm sure a lot of Indians are, are just waiting, waiting for the borders to open so that they can go to Bangkok soon. Uh, I think we now we can go, I know. I think we can now take some questions uh, from, from our viewers. Let me just see what questions we've got here. Uh, I can see a question from someone which says, will there be any automated thermal scanning or or will be manual process? Some. Uh, this is a question coming from Kamal. Uh, actually, we, we do the manual process because it's mostly FITs coming in now. For the few larger events we have in our convention hall, we have a, we set up thermal scanning devices as well, just for the sheer volume to be able to control it better and more efficiently. Okay, another question from Swati, which says, what is the social distancing protocol of safe distance hotel staff will follow with the guests and will advise the guests to maintain with other guests? Uh, normally, as per government regulations, it is one meter, for instance, in the restaurant between tables, but we, we go further with our own internal uh, Centaur complete care, one and a half meters per person. Okay. I hope that answers your question, Swati. Next, we have uh, a question from Naveen, which says, will there be any promo packages from the hotel to attract more bookings? I mean, uh, the packages are already, we haven't launched them because the airports are still closed. But uh, even if you go online and see, we have had some very attractive packages for the domestic market. And of course, for the, for the uh, uh, open expatriate people here. So we definitely, once, the minute the first flight comes in, uh, we will launch some very, very exciting promotion uh, together with spa facilities and food beverage, of course, uh, all together, yes. We have another question from Pooja, which says, I think this has been answered, but anyway, in case of any symptomatic case of in-house guests found, will the hotel track contract tracing of all hotel staff interacted with that person in the last 24 hours absolutely yes we have all the protocols to do that we have of course the the local government it's called thai china this is a qr code where everybody checks in check out we have over 350 cameras on property as well so we can really trace where everybody has been and even cameras throughout the city i must say are very uh, uh, are all around the area, so to trace will definitely not be an, an, an issue. Thank you. We have another question now from Swati again. She says, what is a social, oh no, we've done this question, she's already asked. Okay. Okay, these ones are done. About the pool. Uh, another question which says from Mohit for in-house guests in their room will hotel provide hand sanitizer as standard uh, toiletry yes this is part of our care so we do have a basically hand sanitizer and even face masks in the room uh, 
on arrival in the room. So basically, all guests should have a face mask already while entering the hotel, but we still have a set in the in the room, including the hand sanitizer. It's part of the, the complete set we have in the room. Okay, okay, that's good. Now, in um, the promo package has been done. What else is there? I'm just going on top. Somebody was asking about this family. I'm just looking for that question. I just saw it on the screen. Okay. Um, here's a week says that in case one of the family members, uh, one of the family member in the family found symptomatic during check-in, then will the hotel allow the other uh, family members to check in? I know, and we will have to follow the protocol of the, of the government, basically, and, and uh, through the Ministry of Public Health. So, of course, anybody who's been traveling with the person who is symptomatic will have to go into a, uh, a quarantine facility, which the uh, government will handle. Uh, many different options uh, within the central business district. Okay, that sounds good. So I guess that uh, you know a lot of questions have been asked and uh, answered. Um, is there anything I that we uh, would add? Sorry. And we have another video to show, basically. I think we have another video we can show now to show the different uh, safety aspects we have. Okay, great. Let's let's have a look at that. Okay, that clarifies everything. And as you all must have seen, that uh, Centara is taking great precautions to make sure that the hotel is safe for you all. Uh, with this, we come to an end of the session. And I would like to thank Devashish and Tech, Tech to Go team for putting this together. And uh, thank you, Kun Robert and the viewers. I sincerely hope that the situation in India improves and we are ready to travel. And I am sure that the first country that everyone would like to travel to is Thailand. Thank you once again. Namaste and Swadika. Thank you. Look forward to welcome you. Swadika.